be by the phone I'm trying to reach you this is it for the night. greetings earthlings and welcome to my Estee Lauder double wear foundation and color stay foundation comparison video I have no makeup on because I am starting with a fresh canvas I'm going to apply this one to one side of my face and this one to one side of my face and I'm going to compare I'm going to compare um, the blendability I'm going to compare coverage how long it lasts everything I've used this one for years I used to use this one a long time ago it used to be my favorite uh, until I started using this one and I used this back in high school actually um, but as I got more into like makeup and trying different products I ventured out and I picked this one up and I ended up loving it so I just stuck with this for a long long time like this is my go-to favorite foundation this foundation is my holy grail foundation so I know a lot of people compare it to the Revlon color stay a lot of people say the formula has changed um, so I don't know I know the formula changed on this but I still love it and I'm going to start off with the Revlon and the color I am in Revlon is buff I'm just gonna shake that up I apply most of my foundations with my fingers so that's how I'm going to do it today I'm just gonna get some on my finger and dot it on my face like so and I've already applied my moisturizer and the moisturizer that I use is the 3-in-1 Revolution from LeeAnnie.com I got that in my Ipsy bag and I love it so I'm just going to use my hand I like to use a padding and circular motion I guess you would say Um, this feels really similar to the double wear actually like how it the consistency of it definitely is similar it's not very thick So now I'm going to do this side with Estee Lauder, shake it up, and my color is in Ecru. So I'm just going to dot this on. I definitely feel like the consistency is pretty much identical. I also feel like the colors are really, really close. I still have redness peeking through on both sides of my face. Um, I usually do have to go back in with either concealer or the foundation to cover up any redness or any anything that's peeking through that the foundation didn't cover on the first layer. I feel like they're very, very similar. Like they're definitely um, comparable. So I just want to see how they wear throughout the day because that's actually just as important as you know the coverage and consistency and how it blends it's important how it wears throughout the day so um, normally what I do since I have redness peeking through and I still have some blemishes that are chilling on my face that I want to cover I'm gonna do just what I normally do I'm gonna go in um, on this side so I'm gonna take some of the Revlon and I'm going to um, cover up any blemishes because some of the Revlon color stay on the back of my hand and I'm going to take this Eco Tools brush that I got from Walgreens it's awesome for creams and liquids and I'm just gonna go over the spots that it didn't cover and with my Estee Lauder it when I go back over the redness it covers it no problem and as I'm going over these spots it's definitely it's definitely covering them pretty well Same thing, cover up any spots that I don't like. And the smell is really weird because I feel like they smell super similar. 
even the smell is almost the same. It's crazy to me how similar the colors are. I feel like this side is a little bit heavier. The Estee Lauder Double Wear feels a little bit heavier. It's crazy how much the colors. In the jar they don't look the same. On the skin they look the same. I'm actually really impressed with the color stay because the, this is like I paid $8.99 for this and this is about $34, bucks, $32, $34. So that's a, that's a pretty big price difference. Um, I don't feel like it looks different actually. Like I feel like it does the exact same job of covering. This just feels heavier. So you would like it would make sense to have something that has the same coverage but feels lighter. Now I'm excited to see how they wear during the day. I'm really really excited to see if this, now that I see that the coverage is comparable, um, I want to see if it can last as long as my double wear does. I'm going to set this real quick with my True Match Mineral Powder Pick. It is a little light for me, but since I contour and all that, it kind of, I can bring color back into my face. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and set that right now. Gives me a feeling you don't have any more. What a shame. What a shame. Hey. Lost all my money. Blood's running thin. Why can't I reach you? Fade into the night of your time. You haven't tried this powder, you have oily skin, try even if you have dry skin. This powder is amazing. Okay, so now that I have it set, like you can't tell that I have two different foundations on. That is great. And honest, I just bought this for this video to do this comparison video. So I just opened this right now. This is my first time using it in like years. And I'm actually really, really impressed. This, like I said, used to be my favorite foundation. I forgot how amazing it is because I'm, I'm really liking it right now. So like I said, um, I'm going to finish my makeup. And I will be back later. I'm going to paint the rest of my face. So I did my makeup at 10 o'clock this morning. It is now 1.11. So I've been wearing it a good three hours. I cannot tell a difference. Um, my double wear, I've worn, I've done my makeup at 8 o'clock in the morning. And at 8 o'clock at night, it's still in place, hasn't moved. Um, the double wear is just, it's an amazing foundation. So, the Revlon Color Stay is keeping up with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Like, I don't see a difference in either side of my face. They are looking the same. I'm going to take my camera outside so you guys can kind of see, like, what it looks like in sunlight. Um, so, don't go anywhere. So, this is in natural sunlight. And you can see that there is pretty much no difference in either side of my face. Sorry if it's wobbly. I'm holding the camera here. So hopefully it can keep up throughout the day. Um, so yeah, I will check back later. It's now 8.01 and my day is pretty much done with. Um, I haven't touched up or done anything to my face. Um... So as you can see, like I have, uh, you know, redness around my nose and it's starting to separate and just, I'm super, super oily. Both sides are pretty much the same. They wore, to me, identical. I really don't notice a difference. I'm oily on both sides. I'm not more oily on one than the other. Um, yeah, they wore pretty much the same so in conclusion I definitely feel like they are comparable I would even consider uh, opting for the color stay when I run out when I run out of the double wear um, because they are so similar so I know some people think that they're similar some people think that they're not I think it just depends on your skin type so yeah um, I definitely, if you're interested in the double wear, I would just check out the Revlon Color Stay. And if you still are 
you know want to try it for yourself to see which one is best for you um get a sample of the estee lauder double wear i get mine at macy's so just see you know at your local mall what counter sells it get a sample before you commit to the full size so hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video if you want to see more go ahead and like this video and leave me some suggestions that you would like to see peace I'll make it easy this time. Running, running, running.